To set up the mesh, we're going to click on Model, and that will open up Mechanical. So remember how we created a part for the FEA a while ago? Well, the part is right here, Blade FEA, and this is what we're going to be using. So you can therefore suppress the fluid geometry. Before meshing this blade, we'll create a few name selections to make our life easier. Um, we're going to start with the spar. So click on the face selection filter. And let's get a better view to look at the spar. So click on one of these surface bodies, and it might be hard to check the other one, so a really easy way to do this is to actually use this tool called Extend to Limits. So look how the whole spar is selected now. This tool works by searching for faces that are tangent to the first selection and to the new faces that it found. Now we're going to right click and choose create name selection. We're going to name it spar. We'll now do the same thing for the outside surfaces only. But here we have to add the tips, the tip surfaces as well. So you can use your control key. And name it blade surface. Okay, our name selections are here. Let's now create the mesh. Right click on mesh and select insert map face meshing. This local mesh setting is good for uh, creating nice quadrilateral elements which is suitable for FEA models. We're going to change the scoping method to name selection and choose the blade surface. No need to apply it to the spar because it's already pretty good by default since it's a simple surface. We're now going to define the face sizing. So right click on mesh again and select sizing. For the geometry selection we're just going to select everything so right click on the viewer and choose select all and click apply. We'll now state the element size to be 0 0.2 meters. Now right click on mesh and choose generate mesh. Well this looks pretty good. Um, so the only thing here is that we see this symbol and that means that it wasn't able to apply the map face meshing everywhere, um, perhaps at the tip, but this is not a concern. Next, let's take a look at the statistics. Oh, but first look at the physics preference this time. Remember that the fluid mesh was optimized for fluid by default. Well, now it's optimized for mechanical. All right, so going down in the statistics, we have about 4,000 elements. This is about 100 times lower than the CFD mesh. And if we look at the mesh metrics, we're going to pick orthogonal quality. And wow, see how this is an outstanding mesh? A perfect element has an orthogonal quality of 1. And here we're averaging 
0 0.998. So that's pretty good. Let's save our project now.